Today, we get an early look at Peacemaker's attacks in Mortal Kombat 1, and it's happening in a very interesting way. Plus, on top of that, we may get to see some of his animations tomorrow. Very exciting stuff. I happen to know a buddy who can give us a sneak peek, so that's very exciting. When the update drops, we're gonna get some Peacemaker animations. Fingers crossed. Honestly, there's so many exciting things happening with Mortal Kombat right now, and we're gonna discuss all of it in today's video. Because another day means more Mortal Kombat 1 news, so if you want to stay up to date, then make sure to subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss any future videos. And then after watching, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below, it really does help my channel out a ton. And without any further ado, let's begin. For anyone not aware, Peacemaker is already almost here. That's right, the character drops on February 13th, one day before Valentine's Day. Which for a fun fact, is actually my mom's birthday. That's right, she was born on Valentine's Day. And thankfully, she doesn't have to share a birthday with Peacemaker because he's getting here one day before. However, keep in mind that because Peacemaker is almost here, we're very likely going to get a gameplay trailer very soon, probably next week at the latest. I would be shocked if NetherRealm waits longer than that for a gameplay trailer. But like I mentioned earlier at the start of this video, you don't have to wait at all to get a sneak peek at Peacemaker's attacks because I have an early preview for you. As it turns out, Peacemaker is a fan of calling out his attacks during gameplay, and we know this because his gameplay dialogue has already been added to the files of Mortal Kombat 1. And keep in mind, I'm not talking about intro dialogues that happen at the very start of the match. No, 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 I'm talking about voice lines that happen during active gameplay in the match. And once again, Peacemaker is a big fan of calling out his attacks as he's doing them, which honestly does make sense because if you watch the Peacemaker TV show, the helmet he wears actually does respond to a lot of his voice commands. For example, I think in episode 1, he yells Sonic Boom, and then the helmet does the Sonic Boom attack. Or in other words, Peacemaker's helmet is voice activated and listens to his vocal commands before executing an attack. Which is fantastic news because as a result, we can now look at Peacemaker's voice dialogue and understand what attacks he will have in Mortal Kombat 1. For example, check out this first attack, Activate Anti-Gravity. Already I'm intrigued because this attack could mean multiple things. Is it anti-gravity for Peacemaker himself so he can float around and kind of fly? Or is it anti-gravity on his opponent, kind of like Katana's fan lift and it levitates them into the air for a free combo follow-up. Which is it? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below about all of these Peacemaker attacks. Because already I'm intrigued on this first attack. Anti-gravity could mean several things and it has my mind so excited. Next up for attack number two, we have Activate Force Field. Now this attack name is way more straightforward. Peacemaker can summon a force field that likely defends him from the opponent's attacks. However, I'm curious what kind of force field this will be. Is it going to be like Jackie's force field in Mortal Kombat 11? that can only block projectiles, or does it really block anything and everything? I'm super curious. At the very least, we know for a fact now that Peacemaker is going to have some defensive mechanics as well. He's not going to be all offense. But okay, this next attack has me very confused and flabbergasted. I have no clue what this could mean. Activate Human Torpedo. Does this turn Peacemaker himself into like a missile, similar to E-Honda in the Street Fighter games? Or does it turn the opponent into a torpedo? Or does he summon somebody from off screen like a tag assist? What is going on here? What on earth could human torpedo mean? And because Peacemaker says activate, this implies that his helmet is doing this. What's his helmet doing to make a human torpedo? I'm honestly kind of scared. Does he shrink somebody down and then fire them like a bullet? I'm a bit scared here. But honestly, as I'm saying that, this next move is way scarier. Activate scale babies for all. Yeah, for anyone not aware, scabies is a disease, and this implies that Peacemaker is so vile, he sends diseases at his opponent, and apparently this attack might have an area of effect, because it says scabies for all. Does that mean you also get infected? Like, do both players lose health, Peacemaker and his opponent? Is it one of those moves that hurts both characters? I don't think anybody has that yet in Mortal Kombat 1, so that could be interesting, but come on, scabies? I understand it's Mortal Kombat, and at the end of the day, your goal is to kill the opponent, and you can do that by any means whatsoever, and it's all fair game, but still, scabies? Literally giving your opponent a disease? That's pretty extra, man. I don't know. Peacemaker out here giving people scabies. And that's not the only move, actually. The next move is called Activate Scabies. So this one does not say for all. It just says Activate Scabies. So once again, I'm wondering if one of the attacks hurts the opponent, but the other attack hurts them both, and has like an area of effect that hits all around Peacemaker? I don't know. I'm super curious, but also very dis 
disgusted that he fights with scabies. However, the good news is that's the last thing we hear about diseases in his move list. Next up, we have the Sonic Boom. And if you're a fan of the TV show, you already know what this is. It's a giant concussive blast that activates all around Peacemaker, has a devastating impact on everything around him, and if you're nearby, it actually turns the opponent into just guts and pulp. It's that powerful, it's ridiculous. Now, I imagine in the game it's going to be a bit less powerful, because otherwise it would be an instant kill. Though that being said, it could be a fatality. I mean, why not? It kills people in the show, so it could be a fatality, honestly. Because keep in mind that this is just a dialogue, so Peacemaker could be saying this during his fatality. We don't know when and where he's actually saying this, except that it's not during the intro dialogues, and that's about it. No matter what the case may be, the sonic boom does hit all around him, which means Peacemaker is going to be great for space control, but I guess that makes sense because he carries a gun, so let's be real, he's gonna have some zoning and keep away elements. It's inevitable, Netherrealm does it every time. In fact, just listen to this next move, activate spikes. Okay, is Peacemaker stealing moves from Robocop? Can he lay spikes on the ground that keep the opponent from jumping and limit their mobility? Maybe it stops them if they're in the middle of an animation, like Melina's ball roll. If she hits the spikes, does she get stuck like a bear trap? similar to Aaron Black, that could be really cool. I'm not sure what the case may be, but if I was a gambling man, I would guess that these spikes are for space control and do hinder the opponent's mobility somehow. However, when it comes to this next attack, I'm not sure what's going on. Activate X-Ray. And I don't think we're talking about Mortal Kombat 9 X-Rays or Mortal Kombat X X-Rays either, because now in the new games they're called Fatal Blows, right? I don't think he's referring to that here, but in the show, Peacemaker does use X-Ray Vision at one point to locate where the parasites are inside people's bodies and kill them instantly. And in the show that made perfect sense, but in a video game like Mortal Kombat 1, what's the benefit of activating an X-Ray? I'm wondering if this could be an in-between rounds dialogue Dialogue, or if it could even be a fatality of some kind, I'm not sure. Now, the next three attacks listed are redundant or just straight up curse words, nothing to do with the actual attacks, but then we have Eagly, yes! It's now confirmed that Peacemaker fights with his pet Eagle in Mortal Kombat 1. For anyone not aware, maybe you're not a fan of the show or just don't know anything about Peacemaker, he has a pet bald eagle that he named Eagly, which is a silly name, but keep in mind he named it when he was very, very young, and I think we're all guilty of giving our pets silly names when we're children, right? But I digress. The good news is, we now know for a fact that Peacemaker does fight with his pet eagle named Eagly, which I already assumed was the case because in my previous video in Mortal Kombat Onslaught, he also is confirmed to fight with his pet eagle, but now we know for a fact in Mortal Kombat 1, he can also summon Eagly as well. I wonder if it takes up a cameo slot, or if when you summon him it disables the cameo button entirely, similar to Kenshi when he summons his ancestor. That could be super interesting. And to make things even better, there's a couple more dialogues here that I believe also reference Eagly, like Good Boy. I think it's pretty obvious he's referring to his pet Eagle here, like maybe Eagly lands the attack and he goes, Good Boy! Next up we have Thanks Eagly, so several lines of dialogue are listed here that reference Eagly, so I think it's very possible that Eagly has more than one attack, and I'm hoping that's the case, because I want to have a character who fights with a bird in Mortal Kombat. I don't think we've had that yet except for Nightwolf, but even then it was just one attack. Attack. So I'm hoping that Peacemaker has several attacks using Eagly. Next up we have Force Field, already seen that, Human Torpedo, already seen that, Lock and Load. I think this might be referring to his special compression bullets that cause the opponent to explode. In fact, I think the actual name is Exploding Compression Bullets, which was actually featured in the Squad movie and not the Peacemaker show. Next up, Peacemaker says, ready to eat peace. Okay, that's a bar. That's a good line of dialogue right there. It doesn't give us any clues to what his attacks are or anything like that, but it's still cool to know that he says ready to eat peace. Once again, we have scabies for all, scabies again, scrub. Okay, so Peacemaker straight up calls the opponent a scrub, and that's amazing because if anybody would make a joke like that, it's gonna be Peacemaker or maybe Johnny Cage. But for anybody else, that line would not make sense. But regardless, I'm very happy that one character in Mortal Kombat does call the opponent a scrub. Next up, we have Sonic Boom again. We have Spikes again. Thanks, Eagly, Torpedo, and X-Ray once again. So now I'm wondering something. A theory just popped into my head. Earlier, I thought that Scabies for All and Act 
activate scabies or different moves, but it could be possible that Netherrealm just doesn't want to have Peacemaker saying the same thing over and over again, and therefore gave him various dialogue lines for these same attacks. That definitely could be possible and could be the case for this character. But no matter what the case may be, sadly that is it for the list of dialogue in Mortal Kombat 1's files so far with Peacemaker. There is nothing else to talk about in regards to his dialogue, which is a shame the videos come to an end, but as you all know, I love making this video interactive. So now's the part where you comment down below and let me know your thoughts about Peacemaker and his attacks in Mortal Kombat 1. How do you feel about the scabies, the anti-gravity, human torpedo, all that cool stuff? Do you think these attacks sound exciting? Because I think they sound really exciting. It looks like Peacemaker is going to have way more variety than I expected. I was worried he'd just be a gun character with special ammunition, kind of like Deadshot, and then maybe a couple of helmet attacks. But on top of that, he also fights with his eagle, he has x-ray abilities, spike traps, all that awesome stuff. So I think Peacemaker is going to have a really cool arsenal of weapons. So once again, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below because, like I keep saying in every video, I truly do read each and every comment. So grab that keyboard and make your voices heard. And then, while you're down there posting a lovely comment, please leave a like down below if you enjoyed the video. It really does help my channel out a ton. And then finally, finish that combo by subscribing and ringing that bell so you never miss any future videos. Make sure to come back next time, and as always, stay underdogs.